Five Minute Pearls for Clinical Practice. Today's pearl is called Turning Tables. Hello, this is Dr. Brian Morris, and this is 5-Minute Pearls for Clinical Practice, where you will learn the tools to provide exceptional care for your patients. This is the weekly podcast where you will be introduced to time-tested, evidence-based patient care strategies that aren't always taught in schools or training programs, but are nonetheless crucial for success in clinical practice. And each podcast episode is about five minutes. This week's pearl is called Turning Tables. About 20 years ago, William Hurt starred in a movie called The Doctor. In the film, William Hurt plays a heart surgeon who doesn't exactly have the best bedside manner. He is crass and vulgar with his patients and with his staff. He's insensitive to the emotional needs of his patients, and he is struggling to keep his marriage together. Early in the movie, he's driving his wife home from dinner when he coughs up some blood and ends up going to see an ear, nose, and throat specialist who diagnoses him with cancer of the throat. And this begins an odyssey of self-discovery for him as he is forced to experience the trials and tribulations of being a patient going through surgery and the subsequent radiation treatments. Of course, this is a movie, so William Hurt's surgeon turns out to be another insensitive and crass surgeon, and William Hurt learns what it's like to be taken care of by someone like that. Eventually, William Hurt's character ends up having his surgery performed by another ENT that he used to ridicule for being too nice a guy. The surgeon who ends up performing the surgery is a really kind, compassionate person, the antithesis to the William Hurt character. The lesson I took away from this movie is the power of switching positions to turn the tables. For the doctor to become the patient, no one can see everything from one perspective. The doctor's perspective is often a one-directional view of healthcare. Things can look quite different when things are turned and you're forced to see things from the patient's perspective. How can you try this yourself? Perhaps you can be a patient in your practice for one visit. You will learn so much about how your office works and what doesn't work. You'll learn a ton about ways your practice could improve and how you can improve both as a clinician and as a member of your office team. If possible, give it a try, even if it's just a simulated office visit, simply for educational purposes. Or the next time that you are a patient or a family member at any healthcare office, try to observe what works and what doesn't work, and how the patient experience can be improved. In some practices, each of the providers and the entire staff goes through this process once a year where each person simulates the patient experience. It's an amazingly insightful and useful process and one that can help us to see things that we would not otherwise notice about ourselves and about the office in general. And in the process of seeing things as a patient, we find ways to improve our practice and the way that we take care of our patients. Let's keep the dialogue going. Let me know what you think of this week's Pearl for Clinical Practice. You can email me at drmorris at 5minutemd.com. That's dr. M-O-R-R-I-S at 5MinuteMD.com. You can post your comments and your experiences on the 5 Minute MD Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at Brian Morris MD, or you can visit us anytime on our website, 5MinuteMD.com. Let your friends know about the podcast and make sure that you are subscribed on iTunes. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you at the next five. Mm-hmm.